now with Chief Meteorologist Jeremy Nelson. And Jeremy, it's been a rainy couple of days and more rain is on the way. Potentially the heaviest rain this entire week will greet us tomorrow morning into early afternoon. Tropical storm Ada is lifting to the northeast and we do have a high impact weather day in store for tomorrow. Some periods of heavy rain, most numerous mornings or early afternoon. The good news if you want to get outside and hope for some dry or cooler weather, the weekend right now looks pleasant. More on that later. Let's get you set with Tropical Storm Ada. Winds right now are at 70 miles per hour. There's Tampa and Clearwater. Forecast track bends this storm off to the northeast tonight. Offshore by early afternoon on Thursday as it weakens to a tropical depression. Notice how it doesn't move directly over us, but we'll still feel some impacts and let's start to discuss those. The first impacts and we've been feeling these for days with the circulation twirling in the Gulf of Mexico. We've had these waves of rain push across our local area and as the center of circulation heads into North Florida, you guessed it, more rain in the forecast and some of that may be potentially heavy during the morning commute tomorrow through about midday and early afternoon. Storm tracker radar network, a bit of a low right now in the rain intensity and overall coverage. Uh, just a scattered shower area down to our south. A few sprinkles mixed in that will pass by Hinesville and Fort Stewart, potentially near Richmond Hill and could see a little more wet weather into Savannah in about 90 minutes or so. Our forecast this evening, we'll keep scattered showers in there. Muggy conditions, it's so uncomfortable outside right now by mid-November standards. Today we actually hit a record high in Savannah, 86 degrees. Yes, warm and at night it's just not cooling off and out the door tomorrow morning, not only muggy and mild, but also you want the umbrella with 90% chance of rain tomorrow, basically a guarantee we get wet across our area. And this is a nice change of pace. We had the trend drier, but we took some of the rain chances out altogether. Unfortunately though, Tomorrow's a day you want to stay weather aware and we'll help you do that. Let's talk about your hour by hour forecast and the timing of some of the heaviest rain. We'll pause this several times and one of those being out the door tomorrow morning for the morning commute. These uh, areas of yellow and red and orange that represents steadier, heavier rain. So some downpours are possible. Could have some deeper puddles or maybe even localized street flooding if we could pick up a quick one to two inches of rain. 9 a.m. This is showing a wave of heavy rain pushing from southeast Georgia into the low country. It could be a slow go out on some of our roads tomorrow morning. By afternoon, the heaviest rain transitions north. We'll see a little drier air move in. And then that is pretty much it for Ada. Just brushes by our area with heavier rains. If you live right at the coastline, maybe towards Hilton Head or Tybee, you could see a wind gust, maybe a medium chance that that ramps up to about 25 miles per hour. Otherwise, the impacts are mainly downpours, rain totals one to two inches plus, and the plus would be in some isolated areas. Uh, severe storm threat right now looks to be pretty low. Our city cast has temps in the upper 70s for the islands. Otherwise, most inland locations will reach the low 80s tomorrow with that 90% chance of showers and thunderstorms. And I have to show you this because the weekend forecast has improved a lot. Upper 70s on Saturday, 81 degrees on Sunday, and there will be a noticeable drop in the humidity, especially by the first half of the weekend. Here's your certified most accurate forecast. High impact weather day as Ada will impact our area tomorrow with that potential for some heavy rain, especially morning through about midday. The weekend forecast, we just saw that looks pretty nice into next week. How about some fall weather highs in the 60s? Overnight lows dipping down into the 40s, but you see our average low is in the 40s. That's where we should be. We've been so warm here.